Harbourview Football Club are the reigning Jamaican Premier League champions. They were founded in 1974, and over the years, the Kingston-based club has won over 50 trophies at both senior and junior levels. Transworld Sport headed to this part of the Caribbean recently to find out more about the current team as they prepared for the new season. Going into the new league campaign, Harbourview have a new head coach in Harold Thomas. Their former boss, Vin Blaine, left at the end of last season to take up a role as assistant coach to the Jamaican national team. Harbourview has become the most successful club in the Caribbean because of the hard work. It's also driven by our passion, coming all the way from our directors to our supporters and our players. It's, a, it's, it's also driven by our philosophy to play attractive football, very attractive football, um, attacking football, a short passing game, which our fans and Jamaicans in general uh, enjoy. Twelve teams compete in the Red Stripe Premier League and the games, which are played on Sunday evenings, captivate huge numbers of people across this nation. Last season, Harbourview cruised to their fourth league title, winning the championship with three games to spare. That success secured them entry to the CFU Club Championship, the Caribbean's version of Europe's Champions League. Harbourview have won the CFU twice before. 25-year-old club captain Montrose Finn has been with the side since 2008. A composed central defender who likes to keep the game simple, he sets the tone for his teammates to follow. As a Jamaica international, I, I have to carry myself in a certain manner because um, the youngsters look up to me and I'm also the captain of the senior team for the Harvey Club, so I have to bring myself and try to do the correct things at all times so they can adapt from me and learn from me. Of the 12 teams in the Jamaican top flight, seven are based in the Kingston area. The capital city is home to just under one million people and is a place with a rich and varied history. During the 1970s, Kingston experienced much political upheaval. The battle between the People's National Party and the Jamaica Labour Party has been seen as the catalyst for the spiral into poverty that many Kingston citizens now find themselves in. It was against the backdrop of political unrest in the 70s that many of the country's football clubs were formed. The sport provided an escape from the tensions affecting daily life, and it continues to do so to this day. Harbourview are the best supported team in Kingston. Harbourview team, you know, it's, it's very important to the community because you know, the football keep the community afloat, you know, because when it, when, when it, when it, when it touch like a Sunday evening, everybody look forward into the games and so forth. So this is something that everybody look forward to, you know, coming out on a Sunday evening and cheering on the team. When Transworld Sport was in town, Harbourview in blue played a pre-season friendly match against newly promoted Riverley FC. Riverley hail from Spanish Town, which is situated just on the outskirts of Kingston. They're a young team and are seen by some as serious title contenders. Our rivals have been documented long and wide. Um, our main rivals, of course, um, are the, the teams within the corporate here. These are Boystown, Tivoli Gardens, Arnett Gardens, um, there's Waterhouse. Um, then there are, of course, the, the emerging teams, Montego Bay, Rivoli, Sporting Central. It's a, it's a very competitive uh, league, um, and that competition drives a great rivalry among the teams. The high watermark for Jamaican football occurred in 1998, with the sole appearance of the reggae boys at the FIFA World Cup. Since then, the national team has struggled to replicate that success, and they look likely to miss out on qualification for Brazil next year. However, the national team's struggles have not dampened the widespread enthusiasm for the domestic game here, with clubs still very much at the heart of their local community.
In 16-year-old Martin Davis, Harbourview has the exact sort of player new Jamaican manager Winfried Schaefer of Germany is looking for as he builds towards the future. Davis is an exciting young talent who recently spent a year in the youth system of Spanish club Valencia. Being in Spain has um, increased my tactical awareness of the game, knowing where to be when I don't have the ball, where to be when I have the ball, basically how to, how to work as a team and how to formulate good ways in order to get that goals, get those wins. In the years ahead, Davis and his fellow teammates will be looking to emulate the achievements of former Harbourview player Ricardo Gardner and apply their trade in Europe. In 1998, following his performances at the World Cup, Ricardo Gardner joined English side Bolton Wanderers. In so doing, he became the first Jamaican footballer to be transferred directly from a Jamaican team to a side in a major European league. Anybody would love to reach the heights that Ricardo Gardner reached. Um, he's really a Jamaican football icon right now because um, he's one of the few that reached the highest level where football is concerned. And he's, he's coming from this club, you know, which is a plus for us. And hopefully, you know, other players, even myself, hopefully I can get the opportunity to reach that level also. Certainly, I, I, I want to, to obtain a contract to play overseas. That's my main goal because, you know, financially and so forth, it's better. But I think with the help of God, it's going to happen. Harbourview manager Harold Thomas believes that if he has another successful season, then his captain may well be making his dream move abroad. One true Finn is a consummate professional, um, very humble player, knowledgeable. Um, very aggressive on the field, but off the field, a complete uh, gentleman. He's an ambassador for the club uh, and for Jamaica, wherever he plays. Um, he has tremendous potential and will go far away. I'm not really an aggressor, but once you're a leader and everybody understands that, you know, once you, you, you say something, everybody's supposed to respond and everybody respects me. So whenever I say, troops, let's go, we're going to go. Look out for Harbourview to once again light up the Jamaican Premier League this season.